welcome to the UWC Library Online Tutorial Service. Today we will be discussing predatory journals. Publishing research articles is an important part of the research process. It assists in furthering research endeavors by informing peers of developments in their field. It is important to note, however, that the definition does not include the quality of the document being published. This presentation will attempt to outline the identifying characteristics of predatory journals. Predatory journals are broadly described as exploiting the open access business model that charges authors to publish their research. Jeffrey Beale is generally credited with coining the phrase predatory journals. The first major article on this subject, written by Beale, appeared in Nature in 2012. Beale described predatory journals as those exploiting the open access business model, where the author foots the bill for publication. These journals are often spurred on by the ease with which they can develop an online presence. These journals target inexperienced and early career researchers, hoping to build up a publication portfolio quickly. After spending a significant amount of time at research and developing a publication, researchers should take care in selecting their publishing venue, as this could impact on how the publication is perceived. While colleagues and peers can provide good advice in selecting a journal, you should also bear in mind that your librarian can provide advice on selecting a publishing venue. Mouton and Valentine have created a table of good scholarly publishing practice versus predatory publishing. Some of these characteristics are illustrated after the table. Predatory journals exploit the author pays business model, charging authors to have their articles published, whereas legitimate journals do not exist solely for profit. Spam emails are often used to solicit articles from authors, as opposed to authors selecting their publishing venue on their own. Predatory journals often have long names that include the words international or global. Another strategy is to closely match the title of a legitimate journal. Such journals are referred to as being hijacked. Good journals often take time to reach production, whereas predatory journals often offer rapid review and fast publication. They often have a high and inconsistent publication rate. Predatory journals often boast extraordinary and often false journal impact factors, as well as false claims about where the journal is indexed. These are usually displayed prominently on the journal's homepage. Editorial boards are often false with insufficient or no contact details for board members. The validity of the board can therefore not be established as the editors cannot be contacted. In some cases, scholars are listed on editorial boards without their knowledge. Predatory journals often list generic email addresses as contacts. Details for both the journal as well as editorial board members. Predatory journals often do not have a physical address. Where one is provided, using Google Maps can assist in establishing the validity of the journal. Frustrated with being spammed by request for a publication, two researchers submitted this article to the International Journal of Advanced Computer Technology. The article was reviewed as excellent and accepted for publication for which a fee of $150 was requested. The most recent issue of this journal is dated June 2017. A major indicator that a journal may be predatory is the rapid review and unrealistic publishing times. These journals often publish large numbers of articles every year. This journal offers a fast-track review system, whereby authors can pay an extra 50 US dollars and receive peer review within one week of submission. Another strategy is to closely match the title of an existing journal. These are referred to as hijack journals. The strategy is to dupe researchers into submitting articles to the predatory journal. In this case, the journal on the left is the original one. This journal has no contact details for the associate editors and lists Gmail addresses for several editorial board members, as well as the editor-in-chief. There are several articles available online to help identify predatory journals. You should also contact your librarian if you're not sure. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. Goodbye.